For my debut recording, I wanted to work on a project that was really personal to me. And for that, I couldn't imagine anything better than the music of the French composer Olivier Messiaen and his students. The project started about 20 years ago when I was first given a piece of Messiaen's by my college piano teacher, Lawrence Morton. Now at the time, the music seemed like it was a foreign language. I didn't understand all the complicated rhythms or the invented scales that Messiaen used, and his complicated and complex chords really challenged my ideas of what was possible with my hands. But I loved the fact that this music came from a really personal place with Messiaen. It came from his faith and from his love of nature, and uh, I was really drawn to that. Now, despite the challenges that I just told you about, or maybe because of them, I was really hooked on the music. And from that point on, I started to learn more. In fact, the last piece on the recording, The Regard to the Spirit of Joy, was a piece that I played on my senior recital in college. Now, since that point, I've had the opportunity to perform all of Messiaen's solo piano music, as well as a lot of his songs and chamber works, including the amazing quartet for the end of time, and a number of pieces for piano and orchestra. Now, at the same time, I was developing as a teacher, and so I started to get interested in Messiaen's teaching, because he was really well known for being an excellent teacher as well as a composer. And so I started to look at what was so unique about him, and that was that he, instead of making his students sound just like him, he looked at what was unique or special about each student, and he tried to foster that and bring out their own unique voice. So as a result, his students, who came to him from all over the world and uh, really went on to be some of the great composers of our time and musical leaders of our time, they all sound distinctly different from one another and from him. None of them really copied Messiaen entirely, which is an amazing thing. So I also had the opportunity to work with a couple of his former students, including the composers Pierre Boulez and Michel Merlet. I worked with Boulez on his Deux Notation, uh, which uh, is on the recording, and also with Michel Merlet on nearly all of his solo piano music, and uh, including the two pieces that are going to be receiving their world premiere recordings on this recording. So I'm really eager to share what I've learned from working with these composers one-on-one -on -one, uh, in their music. Uh, the music of Messiaen and his students is really powerful and very inspiring, and I'm glad to be sharing it with you. Thank you.